Hello everyone, Raza here. When building flows in Power Automate, have you ever wished that like Power Apps, Power Automate also had a versioning feature where we can see the version history of the flows or restore a previous version of a flow or save the flow as draft? Well, guess what? Now we have those options. Let's check it out in action. The versioning and save as draft feature set is only available for solution based cloud flows. Solutions? Is that premium because it uses Dataverse? No. As long as the environment has a Dataverse database set up, users can create solutions without premium licenses. Best practice always build in solutions. So let's begin with a new solution. I'll give my solution a name and click create. I'll go ahead and add a new automation cloud flow. Let's take a simple scenario. Microsoft forms data to SharePoint. I'll start with an automated cloud flow. When a new response is submitted in Microsoft Forms, I'll click Create. Notice I've landed in the classic designer to begin with. I'll pick my form. And for now, I'll just add a compose action, name my flow, and click Save. The flow is saved. If I go back to the previous page, we can see that my cloud flow has been added to a solution. For taking advantage of versioning and drafts feature set, I'll head over to edit, edit in a new tab, and I will land in the new cloud flow designer experience. Save as draft. Many a times as we are working through the process of creating our flows, we would like to save our changes in draft mode and not publish the flow. You can save as draft even if your flow contains errors. Now here, my trigger is when a new response is submitted to a Microsoft form. Next, I'll add an action to get the response details. If I try and publish my flow, the flow checker will validate if the flow has any errors. I haven't filled in these required parameters, perform ID and response ID. However, if I click save draft, this will go ahead and save my flow as draft. To test it, I would have to publish it. But here I was able to save it in draft mode even with errors. And if you explore the name of the flow, right at the end, the status of the flow is appended. Right now, the flow is in draft mode. I can go back, go and edit the flow, and I can continue building my flow. When I saved the flow as draft, it also created a version. And I can see that by heading over to version history. My flow was published. Then I created a draft version, which is currently the latest version. Let's make some changes. I'll pick my form. I'll set my response ID. Let's go ahead and save it as a draft again. Creates another version. Now, if I click on a previous version, notice for this specific version, I did not have the form ID and response ID set. If I go to the current published version, I did not even have that specific action. So I can go look at previous versions and I can restore any of those previous versions. So for example, if I pick the published version, if I restore it, I get the message that restoring this version will promote it to the current draft version 
which is perfect because I can review it, edit it, save it as draft, or simply go ahead and publish it. I'll click restore. Now it creates a new version, which is in draft. Now let's go ahead and complete our flow. Get response details. I'll delete the compose action and add an action here to create an item. I've picked my SharePoint site and SharePoint list. Now I'll go ahead and populate the columns from data coming in from my Microsoft form. Gone ahead, set this up. I'll click publish. And there is the latest published version. Notice right at the end of the name of the flow, I'll get the status of the current flow. In the version history, I do not have an option to plug in version notes. However, since the entire flow definition is saved as part of a version, one of the things that we can leverage is as follows. Let's pick the trigger action, head over to three ellipses and add notes. This could be leveraged as version notes. Let's take an example. After creating the item, Maybe I would like to send an email notification. I've made a change to the flow. Before saving it as draft or publishing it, because both of these will trigger a new version, I can go to the trigger action notes and plug in my version notes. And now, let's say I go ahead and save this as draft. So the latest version includes this note. If I go to the Current published version doesn't have any information, but this one does. So this can act like our version notes. Let's say I would like to send a notification in Teams. I've added the action to create a chat in Teams. Once again, prior to saving, I'll go to the trigger action notes and override this, write my version notes. Let's say in this scenario, I publish. It creates another version. If I hover over the notes, I can see the version notes. If I go to my previous version, I can see the notes for that specific version. The version history is grouped by days. Here is an example of a different flow that's in a solution. And you can see how the version history is grouped by day. Now, can we have a summary of the version changes? Currently, no. However, if I was to open the same flow in a different browser tab and kind of open this as a split screen experience, this is my current version that I've selected on the left. On the right hand side, let's say I go one version behind. Our version notes will help. But beyond that, I can get a visual comparison of what's different. Now, what about a scenario where I have existing flows that are outside of a solution context? For example, here is a flow that sends overdue task information. This flow has not been created in a solution. Easy. We make the non-solution aware cloud flow a solution aware cloud flow by going to our solution, go to add existing automation cloud flow outside dataverse. Here is my send overdue tasks information flow. I will click add and this will now add this flow to my solution. If I explore cloud flows, here is my send overdue tasks information flow. If I head over to edit, and now I get the benefits of version history. What if my users are still building flows outside of solution context? How do I ensure that every cloud flow that's built going forward lands in a solution by default? Well, for that, as an administrator, Go to the Power Platform Admin Center, 
select your environment, head over to settings, features, and one of the options here is the ability to decide if new apps and flows that are created in this environment will be created inside a Dataverse solution. I'll turn it on for cloud flows and click save. So at this point, even if I build the flow outside of a solution by directly heading to create and building my flow, it will still land in a solution and that solution by default is the common data services default solution. Now, if I look at the solutions explorer view in the Power Apps portal, we also have an option now that is generally available, which is the ability for the user to set their own preferred solution. I'll select my automation solution and set this as my preferred solution. I can also show my preferred solution on the solutions page. I'll apply. So for Reza, the preferred solution is set to automation. Plus my admin set, all flows will land in a solution. So now if I was to create a flow, I'll create a sample flow. This flow has the capabilities of save as draft and versioning by default purely because it is already a part of a solution, which is my automation solution. Once again, I can go about building my flow, publishing my flow. All the versioning capabilities are in play. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.